always with a patient experience at the forefront, East Jefferson General Hospital has made it easier for podiatry patients to go from diagnosis to treatment. The hospital added the EJ Pain Management Institution on the same floor as the podiatry team. In our newest installment of East Jefferson General Hospital's Medical Moment, Camille Whitworth talks with Dr. Amber Poirot about how this comprehensive approach provides more than just convenience for the patient. Today we had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Amber Poirot. She's a podiatrist here at East Jefferson General Hospital. She tells us all about the new location, which is located here on the sixth floor, and she tells us why pain and discomfort in the feet requires immediate attention. We see every every age group. We see every, um, every type of patient comes in to see us. People come in complaining of pain. That's a common uh, complaint. They could be something as simple as aches and pains. You're wearing the wrong shoes. You stand up all day at work, your feet are going to hurt at the end of the day. Uh, arthritis builds up a little bit more as you age. You tend to have more problems with, with painful arthritis in your feet. People will also come in complaining of numbness, tingling sensations. Sometimes that could be a problem that, that you have diabetes. It could be diabetic neuropathy, diabetic nerve pain. It also could be that you have a nerve that's getting pinched somewhere. It could be an injury that you have causing this nerve pain. Uh, so we have lots of different people coming in with different complaints. And Dr. Praro and her staff make sure any visit is as comfortable as possible. You come in here and her and her dirty shades are all so nice and so pleasant. You enjoy your visit because they make it like that and make me feel better and I don't hurt as bad as I did before. So they say oftentimes that the eyes are the window to the soul, but your feet can actually indicate to you if something's wrong. Whenever you have, whenever people come in with uh, just a regular foot exam, we take a look at everything, we check your blood flow, we check your sensation, we look for deformities, we see if you're, the shoes that you're wearing, make sure they fit you properly. I'm amazed at how many people come in with shoes that are too small, don't fit, wrong size. I hate to say that women are more guilty with, of this than men, um, but they come in with just shoes that are impractical. For most people, you can wear anything you want, but when you're diabetic, you don't have sensation that you used to have, your blood flow isn't as good as it used to be, we need to make sure that you're wearing the right shoes and make sure that you don't have any obvious causes of, of injury that are easily avoided. Again, just wear the right size shoe, the right style shoe. Uh, you can avoid a lot of problems that we see with our diabetic feet. So sort of with this consolidated idea, this must be really convenient and easier for the patient. So our new space is a, a big, beautiful space. Uh, we have clinic area and we also have our procedure area in the back. So when patients come in, we can work them up in the clinic and these are our wound patients. Sometimes these are patients with hammer toes, small, uh, small little foot deformities, and they need surgery ultimately. And this is something that in a clinic, you really most clinics aren't set up to do this in an outpatient setting. And this requires a trip to the operating room. That's often done here at EJ at the Bain Hospital. With our procedure area now in the Pain Management Institute, Institute, we're able to take those patients from clinic and bring them into our same day surgery in the same facility, which is saving these patients a lot of the headache involved with coming to the main operating room, a lot of anxiety also. They're already familiar with the space. They just come to the same area and just walk a little bit farther back and they can get into our procedure area. That's saving them a lot of, a lot of headache and a lot of anxiety for our older patients. So it sounds a lot like this is a one-stop shop for the patients. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, the more we're, we've only been there for a couple of weeks now, we're uh, working out the kinks, but we are loving our new space. Again, it's, uh, we have plenty of staff. We're uh, using a lot of that. We're working in conjunction with the pain management staff and using their facility. They have nurses on staff, so we are, we're really uh, being able to expand what we can do for our patients. Sometimes people come in complaining of pain in their feet, and oftentimes this can be a symptom that something bigger is going on. Diabetic nerve pain are also problems with their blood flow going down to their feet, but sometimes pains are caused by other things, mechanical reasons, the way that you're shaped, the way that you walk, injuries that you've had over time. We'll send these patients that come in with, for example, a pinched nerve, you have a pinched nerve in your back. We can send you to pain management in that same facility with Dr. McMinn, uh, who does a lot of interventions and does a lot of therapies in our same procedure area to alleviate some of these pinched nerve sensations that you may be having and does a lot of the, the hands-on intervention uh, required to fix your problems. So again, very important to listen what's happening to your feet, whether it's tingling or numbness, maybe even an ingrown toenail. Anything that you have needs to be checked out. It's amazing how quickly you'll find that we can find solutions for you here at East Jefferson General Hospital. 
To learn more about East Jefferson General Hospital's commitment to personalized health care, visit EJGH.org. And our next segment is for all my super wonder women out there. Learn how to conquer the chaos and live a stress-free life. We'll talk to the author of this book after the break. <laughs> 